Borrowing fundamentals can help people learn how fast debt can grow. We've already covered the first borrowing fundamental. Borrowing money costs money. You will pay for what you borrowed and you will pay for borrowing the money. The costs of borrowing are interest and fees. The second borrowing fundamental is the more money you borrow, the more money it will cost because you're paying interest and fees on more money. The third borrowing fundamental is the longer you take to pay off a loan, the more it'll cost you because you're paying interest and fees over a longer period of time. Let's look at $45,000 in student loans. $45,000 is the principal. This loan has a 6.8% APR. If you pay the loan in 10 years, it will cost you $62,143 to pay it off. If you take 25 years to pay off the loan, it will cost you $93,699 to pay it off. If you're choosing the longest time period to pay back your loan, it could cost you several thousand dollars more. And the same is true if you're only making minimum payments on your credit card. If you make the minimum payment or an amount less than the total you owe, you're charged interest on that balance and that becomes part of your new balance. The same thing happens each month if you don't fully pay off the credit card. If you're making minimum payments, you're barely paying the interest that you're being charged, so the interest charge becomes part of your balance and you're charged interest on that. It's being charged interest on interest. It's called compound interest. Here's a specific example of compound interest. $7,500 in credit card debt with a 20% interest rate would result in a monthly finance charge of $125. That's just interest and not touching the principal amount owed, the $7,500. Let's say you don't pay the $125 finance charge it would be added into your balance. So $7,500 plus $125 equals your new balance of $7,625. And you would now be charged interest on this amount. 20% at this amount would be $127.08 per month. So your interest and fees, by the way, becomes part of your balance and you're charged interest on that larger balance. It's how $5,000 can turn into $25,000. I like to point out that the credit card companies borrow the money at approximately 5% and turn around and loan it to you at 18%, 21%, 28%. Yeah, my parents taught me a little bit about it. I mean, I think I just kind of had some sense about it. I mean, understanding that credit cards is not money. I mean, when you start from the basic understanding that you can't spend money that you don't have, um, and when you understand that credit cards are not actually money, it's just kind of uh, an instant loan that is very short term. In most cases, if you don't pay it off, you know, within the month, you get crazy interest uh, that gets uh, you know, heaped onto that. Uh, I think with that understanding, that's what really kept me out of any kind of super crazy consumer debt. So.